delighted to say I'm joined by Elliot Morris, Glen Torn captain. Back in the cup final, Elliot, this was really, really special for you. As you know, a team that struggled, let's say, at boardroom level with regard to finances, and here you are with a chance to win a cup final again and go straight back into Europe. Incredible. Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic achievement. Um, I think a lot of credit has to go to um, Eddie, Tiernan Seamus, Big Two, um, and obviously Davy McClellan. Um, the boys have they've got us um, set up for most of the games. Um, obviously in the cup we, we get a lot of sort of stats and especially the cruise game there, we, we got a lot of stats and um, where we need to be and um, how we have to sort of play the game out. Um, but it's a fantastic achievement by those guys to, to have us in this position. The young boys that come through um, into the first team squad, I think there's about five or six of them in the last sort of 18 months that come through. Um, they've come on leaps and bounds and save with a few older heads, myself now. It's all panning, panning together and it's coming together now. And I think that's an older player, as you said, but uh, substitute the word experienced. Uh, do you have a quiet word with those younger players and the build up to big games like this to try and give them a wee bit of advice and keep them in the right direction? Um, I would, I wouldn't say that I would be the the most vocal person in the change room. I, I had a wee bit to say before the the semi final. Um, say I believe all the chat and all the the talking to likes of Eddie and. Eddie likes to talk a bit in the yeah. room. We all know that. I thought I could talk. Eh? So Eddie Go has ahead. a chat. Uh, Tiernan, um, he would he would have a chat with the boys individually before the game, um, and then at, at half time, Seamus would come in and have a a wee word as well. So those boys have us fired up and big choose a motivator as well. So he have us fired up, ready to go, and um, once the whistle goes. Elliot, it's well documented too. Eddie was making the point in the media and obviously here with McLean's TV as well, the fact that uh, it was almost relentless to an extent where it was almost monotonous in the build-up to Crusaders. You knew exactly what you had to do for the semi-final and it worked out perfectly for you. That's what I'm saying. They, they take a lot of credit for that. Um, the tactics and the we, we had everything down to a T and I think I went home that Thursday night before with about five sheets of what where you have to be and um, where, you, where you need to be at every every um, stage of the game, but um, I think the boys on the day were fantastic, um, especially the back four and, and sort of the midfield, um, especially the holding boys there. Um, they never give the, their f uh, front or front three uh, like a touch. Big Owens, I think uh, Callum Burney was excellent on the day. Big Owens went to the toilet one stage and Callum followed him, so it was a case of. <laughs> <laughs> they were um, they were outstanding and they just nullified the front three, which is which is probably their 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 best players. And I don't think they got really. I never had a save to make the whole day, so it's good for me. I was uh, covering the the game against Armagh for the BBC and uh, talking to Eddie after the week. Clinton as I when he got the draw, he thought you know he says Logie, this could you know we could make the cup final this year. Mm -hmm. It's come to pass. It's always a glamorous day, but to play Portadown, I think, adds a wee bit of uh, extra special spice to it. Mm -hmm. Glen Torn against Portadown, no love lost between you and uh, two top class teams. Yeah, well, see, I've been there now 13 years, and uh, any of the games that I've well, the games that I've played against Portadown have always had a wee bit of uh, niggle, especially with Big Ronnie there. Um, he loved to get one over on us. Um, see, everyone knows the history behind that, but we go out. We don't really, we don't really see it as as a grudge match. Um, they probably will more than us, but we'll go out um, and just try and do our best. The kids have no fear in our team now. Um, I think that's that's one of the reasons why we're doing so well at the minute. No fear and just to go out and ex they express themselves and say with we would have experienced there as well. I think that's what's done us in good stead.